In today's video, what I want to discuss is how to build a moat for your e-commerce brand. Now, the significance of this is so that you can utilize equations mapped out today so that when you do plan on exiting, you have the capabilities, you have the assets so that you can receive a high enough multiple. Now, in the grand scheme of things, how do we measure this equation? How do we determine our enterprise value? Well, luckily for you, I am going to show you how we measure this. So first of all, if you're looking to get set up for an exit, right, you want to buy out your competitors, you want to bully them. What is the pathway? Well, first of all, you can check out some of our protocols. Uh, you can check out scaleblast.io. You can see my testimonials. You can see the protocol mapped out to a T. And as a byproduct, you can book a call ultimately to see if you're a good fit. Now, what I specialize in is pretty much helping brands get set up for an exits. Now, speaking to people that buy a brands, uh, ultimately the biggest picture, the biggest takeaway is how do we determine the end product? Well, first of all, we need to define terms. So what is a moat? An economic moat is a distinct advantage a company has over its competitors that allows it to protect its market share and profitability. A wide economic moat is one that is difficult to mimic or duplicate. For example, brand identity panets, uh, and thus creates effective barrier against competition from other firms so patents trademarks so on copyright so on and so forth companies with a wide economic moat can generate large amounts of free cash flow so the direct pathway is we need to determine enterprise value this is literally market capitalization with total debt minus cash and cash equivalents and then from there in ecom if we were to apply this into a grand scenario, well, we need to focus on market capitalization. This is, okay, how dominant are we in the space? So if I compare a brand like Nike's in every sports category, apparel, shoes, even a bit of weights, they've dominated the space from horizontal verticals to even consistent verticals. So the beauty of this is we can sort of mimic our pathway to see how did brands before us capture markets, Amazon, for example, right? Amazon built a moat by selling books and dominating the platform, then selling every single consumer good. Now, secondary to this is total debt. Well, how much debt do we have to then, what is that tied to the cash flow month over month? And then cash and cash equivalents, this is mainly just P&L. So there are five sectors within direct to consumer that we must aim to dominate. Of course, we have our total addressable market. The more you're dominant in all of these sectors, well then the more diversified you are within a business perspective from TAM, total addressable market investors want diversification so that's kind of the grand scheme of things is if we can go into retail wholesale and online dominate these three, three sects we're in a good standing to reach a high enough multiple secondly is we need to of course increase our profit margin month over month third is scalability within our product inventory what are the capabilities tied to that technology and inventory is a fourth concept or sector that we will need to dominate and then of course market trends what is the market going to look like five to ten years from now can we plan ahead with products that fit that projection now with that, everything is tied when it comes to marketing, when it comes to offers, when it comes to success, it's all tied to product market fit. And you can do all the marketing in the world. If your product doesn't sell, if your market doesn't want your product, well then that's the issue. EVIDA is our North Star in today's economy. If we're trying to exit for a decent multiple, we determine that by enterprise value divided by the EBITDA. And then with that, we have ideally in today's economy, what the total value of our company is. And if we're looking to sell it, what we can determine our multiple to be. So ultimately, why should you listen to me? And what is kind of the process that we're looking to implement across our portfolio of brands? Well, for example, every e-com brand that is looking to exit, they require a unique tailored strategy based on product market fit correlation to LTV. After overseeing a little under a million in total ad spend man of management per month, I've noticed a correlation, right? Six figure year brands require more establishment product market fit. They're trying to get established in the market. A seven figure year brand either has profitable front acquisition or strong LTV. Now they have to work opposite to fix one of those issues. And then an eight figure year brand has mastered profitable front acquisition. They have strong LTV. Now it's just consistent collection drops and trying to dominate the total addressable market. So with that being said, if I were to build a moat and I'm trying to map out the pathway to build a moat, well, it's first of all, having product market fit, diversifying your ad spend, being profitable on the front end, and then looking at ways to solve, to reduce churn. And then fourthly, when you have all of those equations up, you're looking at 
uh, inventory, you're looking at technology, you're looking at trademark patents. So nobody can copy your product. Nobody can copy your edge. In e-commerce, it's very important. You have an edge, you protect it. That's how you separate yourself from other businesses. For example, we have brands like TeamU who are literally saturating the market with knockoff products, which is devaluing brands. How can we separate our brand value versus our competitors? Well, it's by raising prices. It's by uh, incentivizing consumers to want to spend more with our business. It's providing a community. It's doing things outside of the business that other brands are doing. So if you're looking to replicate similar success, you want to see some of our testimonials, you can check out scalevelocity.io. And if you want to skip the phase of you getting burned by ad agencies, you can check out scalevelocity.io, book a call with me if you're looking to get set up for an exit. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.